basically we're talking about compatibility and stuff. Uh, you are not looking at, okay, we are compatible because we both want to like going out. We, we are both outspoken. We are both uh, uh, lively. We have the same temperament. It could be that oppo the, like the opposite is what you need. Yeah. And so in saying so, like the next thing I want us to kind of uh, look at is, is it possible, first of all, I know we've, we might have answered this, but then is it possible to marry the wrong person? Is there such a thing as marrying a wrong person? And if there is, what do you do about it? If you happen to be with the wrong person, where do you go from here? I was brought up in a Catholic faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Catholics do not believe in divorce. So whoever you choose to bring to the altar until death do you apart. That, that aspect of the Catholic faith, I support. Okay. So the question you ask, and I would also ask you a question as a typical Ghanaian or black man. Mm -hmm. Can you make a wrong choice? If there are wrong choices, then there could be wrong people. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a tendency that you can choose the wrong person for your purpose. But as a Christian, as our dear sister said, you have to do everything it takes to make it work. And I believe God will help you do that if he sees you are zealous about it. With, um, with marriage, we must be honest, even as Christians. There are times in marriages when 90% of marriages, people would think they have married the wrong person. That is the truth. It's true. Yeah. Because... The, the reason being, this is the reason why, as a Christian, you must find a, 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 a person who you think, they, who you know that they are someone who believes in the same faith as you. One person will start thinking, my goodness, why do I even marry this one? Why, why am I doing here? Yeah. But when you have love agape, love agape takes absolute control and then start telling you that, what are you doing? What are you doing? You must love that person as Christ loved the church. Yeah. To a point, he lay his life for the church. Yeah. And when you want to go somewhere where you, you think you've gone too much, love, love Agape tells you, be subject to your husband, even as the church is subject to Christ. Because both of you had found the word of God. And both of you are in the house of God. Both of you believe in the word of God. Mm. But... If you then decide, the only time I can say the wrong person, if you don't have someone with the same faith. Because right. then if you don't have someone with the same faith, you have different faith. In, believe you me, even the pastor will struggle to come and cancel you. <laughs> People will come to the quotation that, oh, your behavior will convert your, your husband. Mm -hmm. And when they come with that, that's what they would do, especially when the, the pastor might be talking to them, relating... Sister, do you think this person is a Christian? Oh, pastor, my behavior will convert my husband. <laughs> so now, if you've gone into that situation, you should continue to know that it's just your own behavior yeah, that yeah. will convert. Don't expect his be behavior to, to be, be, be coming halfway to meet your behavior. You, should be to be, you are going to be the 100% giver into that way. But when you have someone within the church, they know that, in fact, I shouldn't go to bed angry with my partner, I must make compromise. And that will then lead. So for me, the wrong person is only chosen when you didn't choose them within the gospel. All right. That's, that's powerful. And I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> I agree with that hundred percent. To uh, get our single brother and sister involved, I will ask this question. And some of us might have We've passed that stage and stuff, but when we can still contribute, <laughs> maybe you want to relive that experience and tell us uh, what you think about it. But then my question is, what preparation do you take as a single person when you are ready to move to the next stage? As in, when you are ready for marriage as a single person, what are some of the preparations, things that you have to do things that you have to put in place? Uh, how do you 
plan and position yourself and get yourself ready for the next stage? Personally, mm -hmm. um, what I do is um, understand every everyone everyone's marriage is different, so I can't um, I can't listen to your advice, for example, and say that's going to be the same as mine. But I feel like being around people who are, have some years of experience in marriage and taking advice from them. Mm -hmm. Um, as to how they prepared and what I must do, it's is is key for me. And also um, personally as well, I feel like um, I would have to um, seek counselling mm -hmm. and also um, fast and pray. Uh, these are the kind of things I believe that will lead me and put, position me correctly into uh, into the next step, which is marriage. Mm -hmm. that, that's personally that's that's the step I'll, I'd follow. So I'm just to add to it that. Obviously, because he's he's a man, is it might be different from me as a lady, um, because I am waiting to be found. What am I doing in my waiting period? Is one, um, the Bible says that he that finds a wife finds a good thing. So as I am waiting, what am I doing to be a good wife before I am found mm -hmm. as a wife? Um, so in that waiting, you need to. Um, whatever you need to put in place, um, listening to, you, you realize that I'm very close to the aunties. That's because they have experience. Um, you don't necessarily go to them and say, auntie, what's happening in your marriage? Because, <laughs> um, but I am close to them because when you're close to someone, you learn from you them learn. more, you hear more from them. And then you know, oh, oh, actually, I don't believe this, but she did it this way. And then according to her, it worked. It might not be the same as um, what I would go through, like Michael said. Um, but at least when I get there, I know that this happened before and auntie did it this way and it seemed to have worked for her. And two, um, prayer. Can't go without it. In the waiting, can't do without prayer. And as a woman, the men will come. A lot of them, but they might not all be the one anyway. And the third thing is preparing myself physically. Be healthy. Know how to cook. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> awesome. Know how to important. cook. Know how to clean. The man will help. Um, but we all know that in our homes, I was brought up in the Senegalian home. African home. My mom would do all that she can. She'd come back from night shift and she won't even sleep. Not that my dad wouldn't do it. My dad would do everything, even prepare her lunch before she leaves for work. You know, he would do everything, but she still knows that that's her position in the home. Yeah. So um, that is also in my head that you need to be prepared for such things. You need to be ready to take your position as a woman in the house um, before you're even found as a wife. Yeah, you need to learn. There's a learning process. You need... Uh, if that we say there's a good wife, you can learn to be a good wife. You learn before you go into it. Okay, what are the role? What is the role of a husband? What is the role of a wife? What um, uh, 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 is being expected of me? And you prepare yourself that way. And as Christians and believers, you put in the prayer too. So that God will guide your steps and order you to the right person. So that when you're choosing, you, you know that. You've done all that you need to do. But then the thing is, how soon or how late do you start this preparation? So for me, it took me years. And in those years, all the things that I was doing was prayer. There were times I would wake up midnight. I would not pray for myself, but I would pray for the woman I haven't seen. I was... And the, one of the prayers I prayed was just God, whoever she is, because I don't know. I don't know who that woman is. Whoever she is, please preserve her for me. So one of the things that I personally did was I prayed for quite a long time. How long is um, this long time? I wanted to get married very early mm -hmm. as, as a person. So I started praying about it when I, when I was around 19 Though there were times I so was still a teenager. Yeah. So I was I was asking questions. There are times I'll have to call my sister and ask her, okay, so what did you do? Like yeah. how did you how did he find you? 
what, what did he say? Like, there are, there are questions I was asking her, and I was asking her, at what age did you actually get married? Like, I, I really wanted more things, and she was the person close to me, so I needed to know. Because as a man, if I am going to see a woman or speak to a woman, I need to know what to say. Oh. And I, I am, I am, I was, it is this time I'm actually yeah. liking talking that way. Yeah. But those times, so that even, helped you. Even to talk to a, a, a lady, I will have to hey, like this. Christian and, brothers, and that's, oh my that's our problem. That, that is, that is one of <laughs> we. I've heard no. that Christian brothers have this problem. I is it true or is it not true? My head. <laughs> it's, 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 it's something I actually prayed about it uh, to the extent that I couldn't stand in front of people to uh, even to to sing. And I, you are a minister. Yes. <laughs> and I used to fall sick because of that. Hey. Yes. Serious. So even to stand in front of women it was it was a whole lot of things. <laughs> but the prayer actually took me to that level where it gave me confidence. Wow. To be able to do all these kind of things, uh, brother Alfred, yeah. I'm, I'm mesmerized. <laughs> it's deep, eh? That are like <laughs> very deep. Because I've got the opposite of what he's talking about. Uh, okay, so let's hear from you. Maybe someone is also listening and who will identify with I, the opposition. I, I was not a singer, no. A prayerful person mm -hmm. as he is or was is still is. Um, I was um a lackadistic person. I just lived my life anyhow. Mm -hmm. I just party a lot, work in nightclubs. I just, like my life was out there. Yeah. And um, I met my wife, but we spent about two years together, and. We broke up because I said I had not found myself. Mm. So I went, I went my way. Then I started counting the number of times that I have let myself down and let other people down and asked myself, what am I doing with my life? Mm. So I started going back to things that I can change for me. Not for anybody, but for me. So, 31st night, I went to a church near my house. Okay. And I went there to surrender and said, look, I've lived this life and it's enough. I'm not doing this anymore. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that night, when I came out from the church, my friends that I worked, the company that I had, said, oh, Charlie, you hear there's a new nightclub that is open down the street. Do you want to come? And I said, are you guys stupid? <laughs> it's the 31st night. I just went and said, I'm done with this lifestyle. Yeah. So why do you want me to go there again? The Good. Oh, you know, I tell you. The devil works, <laughs> <laughs> I told them, Good luck. I'm not coming. You guys can go. Wow. Then I went straight home. That, if, that night, between 1 a.m. to 4, I had a good worship. So my Christian life took over from there. So it's more to know you. So during that one year period that I was away from my wife, I was like literally building myself. So it helps to be in a prayer mood, a prayerful person to find such person. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for such experiences. Yeah. Some of us haven't been to the nine clubs before. Yo, <laughs> Mercy on us. Oh so God. we don't know life. <laughs> but thank God for those who have been there so that when we are giving our testimonies they are also giving their testimonies and it's been a blessing to somebody who is in either position like that's the marvelous thing about the work of God I think I should ask one more for the single people to answer me to us today you yeah, want to we want to show light on you guys more than we we move to the experience. Yes, like, like <laughs> those who are in it for a long time. Okay, the question is, is it a must to marry?